Today, I'm going to show you how you can filter data and send it as a ex new Excel workbook. Here I have my sheet and on the top in the top line, I have freight and that is the category that I want to search for in this long list of uh, records here. Now, the second thing I have in the B column is I have the email address and I'm going to send it to. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to the macros and I'm going to run this and it's called search and send and let's run. Okay, so now what it's done is it's gone and it's put it on the second sheet. It's, um, it's searched out all the records that have freight as it. And then what we've, it's done also is it's created an email address. It's created, it's sent an email, or it's created an email with the email address that I put in on there. Freight is a subject and I have a new workbook called Freight. And it's attaching it to the uh, to the email address, and I could simply send here. Now, if I go to the directory where I saved this to, we have this new this new file called freight. And if I open that up, you can see that it is copied exactly what I have on this other sheet to a new sheet, and and named it freight. And so, let me explain the code to you. And so here's my code. I called it uh, send and or search and send. And then I have a lot, lot of the declarations here. I've said dim data sheet is worksheet, report as worksheet, R type. Um, that's because the word type is, is isn't allowed on um, on Excel. So I had to put an R type to keep it as a string, path as a string, uh, new file as a string, final row as an integer. I is an integer, E address, which is the email address, subject is a string, message is a string, outlook app, um, attachment is an object, um, dim attachment as a string. Now, the path, the path is if I go back to my uh, where I'm keeping it and I click in the uh, in the address bar, I basically just copy this to where I want to put it and and then I put it back in my code here and then you make sure that there's a um, a forward slash and a quotation mark at the end and a quotation mark at the beginning and there you're going. The new file is called freight and that's because that's what I'm searching for. Um, data sheet is sheet one and that's the big pile. Report sheet is what I'm copying it to. Um, R type is data sheet range one, so that's the value that we have from the um, from the sheet. E address is the B one that I showed you at the beginning. Um, report sheet is what we're going to do is we're going to clear anything that's in there to start with, so it's not overwriting anything. And then data sheet select and that's our big our big uh, data row. And final rows is just the uh, the uh, the last row of this of uh, this sheet. Now um for rows i equals one to final row so that's going through the whole sheet then it's going through and it's searching for um the r type which is our freight and then um then when it, it finds it then it's going to paste it over to our um our report sheet now well, then we're going to go start making our email address um set outlook create object and then we're doing all the steps to normally create an email sheet and then what we're doing is we're going this is where we're getting to different instead of copying it into a pdf is we're going to go worksheets to copy because that's where our data is being filtered to and with active workbook save as file name path which we described up there new file and format as excel workbook um, close and save changes equals false and then end with and then the rest of this we go through and we're just attaching this file that we have that we have created so outlook uh, email address is the e address from the thing our attachment is the path that we have pushed before the new new file and the xl sx extension on here so outlook mail attachments add outlook display app 
application display alerts equals true and Outlook uh, application set it to nothing and email out to nothing so you're clearing out your email. I will of course include this I will of course include this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.